Shackles on my feet, yeah, they won't let me be. Won't you set me free? Pray this on me. Shackles on my feet, oh, they won't let me be. Won't you set me free? Pray this on me. Pray this all on me. Let me go. Let me go. I've been going through so much, I swear these people let my throat. That's on me, that's on mamas. On my mama, I can't take no more, so miss me with that drama. Get your commas, get your red straight. Get your facts straight. Hold me down, I rise up on her like the tax rate. Keep my past straight, never lack faith. God been working, they gon' have to hold me back, man. And tell them, tell them, tell them. You can pick a side if you wanna. You already know who I bro with. You don't want no problems with me. Shackles, shackles on my feet. feet, yeah, they won't let me be. Won't you set me free? Pray this on me. Genesis chapter one, I got them verse 27. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over it. Rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, over every creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth, and every tree that has fruit will have seed in it. They will be yours for food, and to all the beasts of the earth, and all the birds of the sky, and all the creatures that are moving along the ground, everything that has breath of life in it, I give you every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw that all things that he made And he said it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. I want to go back to that first part. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. This is the beginning, the genesis of our existence. And I think it's so powerful that we're able to use this in Scripture because because we know we're created in God's image. The other day I had a glass in my hand. And I got ready to pour something to drink into it. And the glass slipped out of my hand and it hit the ground. And it broke. And I looked at the glass and I seen this one glass that I had in my hand shattered into many pieces on the floor. This often reminds me of our existence as mankind. We all seem to be one part of a solid glass that has somehow sinned, hit the floor, and now we exist in brokenness. Now we exist in small pieces. Now this glass looks just like God. God created this glass. He created mankind. And mankind made a decision to say, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to eat from the fruit of life. And so when I look uh, at that and they eat from the tree, uh, the fruit of life, and they eat uh, this, this, this apple and they partake in it, their sin represents brokenness. And now that brokenness we see is just like us. We're all a fragmentation of this one whole glass that is now broken. The thing about this glass that even though it is broken, it does not lose its character. It's still glass. You are still human, regardless if you do right or wrong. You're still human. The question is, are you the human That fits into the mold of what God created you to be? Or are you the human that is still broken? Broken and shattered into many pieces. 
oftentimes when I see these many pieces, I know that they all represent one whole. They all represent one glass. And just like human beings, I see all of the broken pieces of us. Some of us are hurt here. Some of us are hurt there. Some of us are experiencing pain. Some of us experiencing joy. Some of us are successful. Some of us don't feel successful. Some of us are climbing up the ladder. Some of us are stuck under the ladder. Some of us are, are, are trying our best and succeeding. And some of us are trying our best and we're failing. And we all seem to be different. We cast ourselves into society to be different. Man, that boy different. That that dude over there looked different. Hot. Oh, look, he got them Gucci's on. That boy different. Man, that boy go off. He a beast in the game. He just different. And I submit to you that even as a youth, we're all not that different. We're all the same fragmented pieces of the same glass. And that glass was created by God in his image, which means each and every one of us as a broken fragment piece of this whole, of this glass, of this God, we all represent a small part of God. And this speaks to the variation of who God is. God is a singular God, but he has plural abilities. In other words, God can exist in anger. He can exist in love. He can exist in frustration and he can exist in blessing. He can exist in wrath and he can exist in anointing. He can be good. And you can also feel like, gosh, God, why am I going through so much bad? Just like those fragmented pieces on the floor from a broken glass, we represent the wholeness of God. Now, sometimes picking up those pieces are pretty sharp to try to put it back together. Some of those pieces are so small, so fragmented, it's, it's almost as if you cannot put it back together in a glass. But I submit to you that if you take your time, you pick up those pieces one by one, however long it may take, however hard it may be, however difficult it may be. No matter how many cuts and bruises you get, no matter how many pieces you feel like you've lost, if you take the time to recover the brokenness, it can be made whole again. Now in the youth, Bible study and scripture chat, we've discussed Revelation. And what Revelation represents is God explaining the brokenness of the world, those of us who have turned away from him. And now he's coming back for us. The brokenness will be made whole again. What brokenness is inside of you right now? What pain are you feeling and experiencing? There's a number here at the bottom of the screen. Reach out to us. Let us know what you're struggling with. Let us know what we can help you out with. You know, we're not in this race alone. We're not in this life alone. Those fragmented pieces of broken glass on the ground are not there alone. And as a church, we're not here to sweep you up and put you into the, the, the trash can. We are here to pick you up and make you part of the whole, the whole body of Christ, the whole church. You were created in God's image. He gave us the ability to rule and subdue the earth, every land, every every land animal, every animal in the sky, the birds of uh, the birds over the sea, the uh, the animals in the sea. We were created to subdue and rule over those things. Right now in your life, you're being called to rule over these things, and you were called to re rule over them because God rules over them. You represent a fragment of God, a piece of God, a representation of God, a reflection of who he was. Because he created you in his image, which makes you godlike. I mean, look in the mirror right now and just say, I'm godlike. 
That's right. You're godlike. As we go out today, I just want you to remember that. That you're godlike. That even though we may be broken, we're still pieces of God. We're still his children. Now leave us in a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, gracious Father, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who came so that we may have everlasting life. Father, we thank you for the angels that uh, hover over us, Father God, that we don't see because we know we battle not against the flesh and blood, but the spirit and principalities that are not of this world. Father, even as a youth, Father God, we know that we grow strong, we grow uh, more knowledgeable each and every day. We pray that we find our vision, that we find our purpose, that we know that we were created in your image, and that no matter what brokenness we may feel, that we may have, we are all a part of God. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen, guys. I want to thank you for joining me in audio message today. Go out into the world and don't forget to love, live, and lead. God bless. Let me go. I've been going through so much. I swear these people let my throat. That's on me. That's on mamas. Oh, my mama, I can't take no more. So miss me with that drama. Get your commas. Get your racks straight. Get your facts straight. Hold me down. I rise up on her like the tax rate. Keep my past straight. Never lack faith. God been working. They gon' have to hold me back, man. And tell them, tell them. You can pick a side if you wanna. You already know who I bro with. You don't want no problems with me. Get these shackles, shackles off my feet. on my feet. Yeah, they won't let me be. Won't you set me free? Pray this on me. Pray this on me. I got them shackles off my feet. Yeah, yeah. Can't put me back up in them streets. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't move, but now I'm free, yeah, yeah I got them shackles on my feet, yeah, 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 yeah Down for me, down for me People left me, you was brown for me, brown for me All that bitterness and anger, had to let it go People talking down on me, I guess that's how it go